right, everybody. Out for the next round of herping trips. Had a decent close to last week, so looking forward to maybe getting lucky this week, even though we're late in the season. Uh, we'll uh, check out this new spot and get back to you if we find something. All right. It's been a long and relatively unsuccessful night. And this kind of caps it off. This is a uh, unfortunately deceased and desiccated burrowing rufous snake. Uh, we're just about at the end of the walk after a, a really long stretch and nothing tonight except a little blind snake that sh shimmered off the path before I could get to it. But anywho, uh, we'll keep at it this week and I'm sure we'll come up with something uh, before the end that we can stick in the vlog. So... Better luck tomorrow, I suppose. Catch you guys then. Okay, everyone. We've got another juvenile, many-spotted cat snake, and this is a really, really tiny one. Uh, this is definitely a newborn. I'll check it in a minute to see if you can still see the umbilical cord. Uh, but really, really great find. Apparently, this is hatching season for them. As this is the second one we found in a week. Uh, this guy's out on a little bit of a busy road, so we're going to move him off somewhere safe where he can get into the grass and find somewhere to hide. And you can see now he's actually a little bit stressed out. Um, he's in full threat display, uh, flattening out his head, trying to look like a viper. And we're actually in an area where there are vipers that look a little bit like these guys too. So there's a possibility this is... Um, some Batesian mimicry, but I haven't seen any papers that speak to that or prove that. So we're going to watch this guy for a while, and once we're satisfied with our filming, we'll put him off into the grass. Great find to start the night. Off to find some more. All right. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, we had to cut off the last video a little bit quick. We uh, didn't find too much more at the end. But it was still encouraging to find the baby cat snake. So back at it again, this time during the day. It is later in the year, a little bit cooler, so I expect daytime might be a little bit more productive. But we're going to give this a shot. This is a spot I've had some luck this year and see what we can come up with. And we'll keep you posted if we find anything. Check back soon. All right, everyone. So no snake so far, but we did manage to come across this one. Uh, which is actually a skink, a kind of lizard. And this is the aptly named Longtail Skink. You can see here why they have that name. These are very, very common out here in Hong Kong. A lot of snakes enjoy predating on these guys. Uh, this one was out just starting to bask, so I think that's why he was slow enough for me to get a handle on without having to worry him dropping his tail. Um, but... Yeah, very common. Uh, good to be able to get one up close to show you guys in the absence of snakes. Uh, we'll go ahead and let him get off on his way, but thought we'd have a break and stop and uh, see at least the first herp of this outing. All right, everyone. So we're kind of getting towards the end of this second walk. And unfortunately, we haven't turned anything up here either. A little bit of a bummer, but uh, what are you going to do? It's late in the season. I've got another few hundred yards of uh, walking to do, so if we turn anything up, we'll definitely pop the video back on. Otherwise, uh, we'll be getting out a few more nights this week, so I'm sure this won't be the end of it, and we'll keep you posted whenever we find something next. All right, check in a little bit later. Okay, everyone, so we're out for another night of herping, and we found in a relatively precarious spot a nice big female bamboo pit viper and she's sitting up here looking for a meal I'm not gonna bother her too much because she's kind of on a ledge and I don't want her to get spooked off but it's early in the night this is actually maybe five minutes into our walk so it's a good sign for what we might find elsewhere so got a quick look at her and then we'll get off and find the next ones great start All right, so just below where we found this bamboo pit viper, we've got this false tiger moth asleep on the wall here. It's a good chance to get an up-close view. They're quite common here in Hong Kong, 
Uh, of course, there's a, a few species that look alike, so if there's any um, moth or entomologist uh, specialists watching, feel free to correct me if I've got it wrong. Uh, but these are quite common to find here in Hong Kong, so I thought I'd stop for a half second and show everybody one of the more regular to find creatures. All right, off to find more snakes. Okay, so this is bamboo pit viper number two tonight. It's been a bit of a long walk finding this one, but this is a small male. You can tell that, as I've mentioned in previous videos, from the white line on the upper lip, which is where they get their common name, white lip pit viper. And this one is hanging out on a rock, and it looks like he's looking to score a meal. So we're not going to bother him too much, but great to get another shot of one of these up close. And this guy's really pristine. He's a small male. Um, they do get a little bit bigger than this. I'd say he's probably stretched out maybe a foot long. Um, but yeah, fun find. Hoping we'll find a few more. This is an area where we find quite a lot of these. So fingers crossed we'll get a few more before the night's over. Okay, it's bamboo pit viper number three for the evening. This is a female coiled up and hunting, just like the others we walked by. So, not going to bother her too much. She's ready to strike, and I can't tell if she's puffed up defensively or if she's just got a meal for herself. So, either way, I don't want to bother her too much. But a really pretty um, specimen. This is a great location for vipers, actually. We, we find quite a bit, and there's a lot of big females around here, so not too surprising, but another great find. So we got uh, another short bit to walk ahead, not too much longer, but we'll check back in again if we find something else. All right, at the end of the path, no more vipers tonight, but it was a uh, good haul. So we're going to probably get out one or two more nights this week and see if we can add a few more snakes to the video. So we'll check back in on the next run. Alright everyone, out for another night of herping and it's a strong start with a decent sized Burmese python. Let me move around to the head real quick. Alright, so here is the head of what looks to be probably somewhere between 2 and 3 meter beautiful Burmese python and this is just at the start of our walk tonight he's right along this wall and really really impressive snake to start our night you can see the body going over here all hidden up in this brush really really exciting find to be able to bring you guys um, really right at the beginning of the walk so we're gonna we're gonna keep looking after we get some great footage of this guy but man, what a start. Nice sized Burmese python, late season big snake. Super, super exciting. Get some more footage and uh, check back with you guys in a sec. All right, everyone. So we're gonna try and take you from the tail to the head. It's a bit tricky to see here, but the tail's down in the leaves. You can see the body here. He goes up and he's squirming through the brush here. And I'm going to take you around the side. Quite a bit of brush. And then back around here, you can see you've got the body. Let me adjust the lights real quick. So you've got the body coming up through here. And then down all the way to the head over here. He can certainly smell us. Very, very cool find. Big Burmese python. All right, great start. Off to find some more. All right, next snake of the night, everyone, is a mountain water snake, or Sinonatrix. These guys are pretty common in this area, and this guy's looking to maybe get up the wall and uh, check things out. But they're, again, pretty common. This would be, I guess, the Asian equivalent of Nerodia out west. I don't think there's any particular relation, but they're both water snakes. 
heavily keeled scales, um, saddled markings, reverse saddled markings, and pretty bright when they're juveniles. But this is certainly a new one for the vlogs, so happy to be able to show it to you. And uh, we'll get off there and see if we can't find some more. They're pretty common here, like I said, so I'd, I'd be surprised if we don't find at least a couple more before we're done. All right, back to it. Okay, everyone, so got a bit of a aggressive situation here where we've got a, a giant centipede who's gotten a hold of a small frog. And this is a, a little bit gruesome, but it's not a, a commonly seen predation. It's a pretty big prey item for the centipede. And you can see here that he's uh, currently envenomating right now, and he's got a pretty good grasp on the frog as well. So this won't be for everyone's taste, but it's... Uh, what happens in nature and not very common to observe like I said so I thought I would catch it for those that are interested and try and make sure we've got a, a warning for people who may not want to witness it. Alright well we're on the snakes for sure so let's keep moving and see if we can't find some more. Alright everyone we've got our next snake of the night and for those who've watched in the past you'll know that this is a redneck keelback one of the more common snakes in Hong Kong. They're both venomous and poisonous. You can go back and check out our uh, second week herping vlog to learn a little bit more about them. Um, and this is a full grown adult for sure. And he's just cruising around this wall. Uh, can't tell if he's looking for a meal or somewhere to go to sleep for the night. But uh, I don't think he'll be too happy with this weepole. And uh, yeah, they're great snakes. Uh, not quite as uh, large and charismatic as a python, but another great find anyways. And this is another good example of how as they mature, their colors fade out quite a bit. You can see here the red is faded and the head is uh, turned to an olive green, as I'd mentioned before. So really fun find. Seems like we're on the snake, so we'll keep at it and see if we can find some more. Okay guys, so we're just about to walk away and the redneck keelback just went for and predated on its favorite meal, the common Asian toad. Uh, this is um, a live predation, so we're going to film it as long as we can. And this is super interesting because if you remember from previous videos, the redneck keelback actually sequesters poison from the toads that it eats that it can then excrete through glands on its neck. And the redneck keelback is also significantly venomous. And if you pay attention to what's going on here, you can see the keelback is actually chewing with its back teeth on the toad. So this is how it actually injects its poison. It, it doesn't have normal fangs like a a venomous snake like a cobra or a viper. Um, it actually has grooved teeth in the back that it uses to drip the venom into its prey. So it's chewing right now so that it can actually drip the venom in. That is all it takes redneck keelback predating on a common Asian toad. So we're gonna just watch for another minute or so and then we're gonna let this redneck get to digesting his meal. Very exciting observation. Okay guys, so it seems like it's definitely the time of year for baby cat snakes because this is the third I've found in less than a week really um, and really really tiny again so this is very freshly hatched and looks like he's got a good amount of energy it's a bit cool so I imagine he's trying to get a meal in him and maybe find somewhere to hide but love these snakes they're so so neat and like I mentioned in the first video where we found one this is really the first year I'm actually finding the baby baby, so quite fun for me. And you can see here 
how adept they are at climbing actually he's got no problem moving up this long grass um, and he's probably going to climb to the top of this uh, wall and find a nice place in the woods to settle in for the night the juvenile cat snake really cool off to find the next one okay everyone so we've got our next snake of the night this is a mock viper semodynastes pulvirulentis and these guys are super interesting I think this is the first one we've had on the vlog and they're a mildly venomous snake um, technically rear fang though the fangs are actually a little bit more forward in their mouth um, than some other rear fang species but they're they're generally pretty harmless the venom doesn't have too much of an adverse effect on uh, adult people uh, maybe a little bit of localized itching is all but they're a really interesting species this one's sleeping so I'm not gonna bug them too much but they're pretty jumpy. They'll S up and, and try and look like a viper. They've got a lot of other defensive tactics they'll use, like um, uh, trying to look all knotted up like a root so that you'll walk right past them. Um, really, really interesting species. They're relatively common, um, but still a pretty great find um, this late in the year. And this is just a little one going to sleep on this fern and really, really fun find. So. They're actually really variable in color too, so this is a bit more brownish, um, grayish color, but they can be red or orange or yellow. Um, so really, really fun species. Very cool find. And we're getting close to finishing up with the walk, so not sure how much more we'll, we'll come across, but this is a great one. So Mock Viper, one more snake to the list tonight. Followed this big Burmese as it moved its way on, and as it's getting away from us, it got into this little gutter. But I think it's going to climb out and make its way up into the jungle. So, pretty cool. I would say we guessed about right on the length, probably two and a half, maybe getting close to three meters, probably not quite, maybe more like two and a half, two and a quarter, two and a half. But great snake great way to end the evening so closing it off here for the evening and for this week's vlog we'll check back in again next week